process is different at every hospital. It's, it's all based on the bylaws. That's why you have got to have access to your bylaws to know what your rights and responsibilities are. The hearing procedures are also different and including the fact of whether you can have legal representation actually in the hearing room. Um, some allow you to have representation in the room with you, others require your attorneys to be outside. Very often those panels will be composed of a, a subgroup of the medical staff, hopefully in the same specialty as the doctor that's under review, so they have the expertise to look at a particular specialist care, and they're going through specific patient records and adverse outcomes most likely. Uh, hearing may not allow certain types of adverse actions and the burden may be placed on the physician to prove that their care was appropriate or their actions I should say. Uh, not all of it is just patient care. Um, it can be an expensive process. The bylaws may specify that both sides pay part of the cost of the hearing process. Um, investigations, that's all can vary and it may vary depending on the type of case it is. I mean, if it's a clinical privileges issue or a clinical care question, they could, may send the cases out to be reviewed by an independent um, expert and it may take months to have that happen. 